Paul Vinick, the spring Merrill Edge report is out, and the big thing that jumps out at me is stress. Two-thirds of Americans expect to be stressed in retirement. Should I be stressed about this number? I would say it really depends on if you have a plan or not. In today's day and age, what we've learned is that people that have a plan for retirement, they certainly have a lot less stress. Uh, what we're also finding, now, finding out now is the younger generation, the people that have more time to plan for retirement, generally the Gen Xers and the Millennials, they seem to be more stressed than people that are already in retirement. And what we're finding out is, uh, the reason is because the retirees have made a plan, they have executed for that plan, and they've been saving and working with, whether it's an, a financial solutions advisor or doing their online research. Whereas the millennials and the Gen Xers, while they have so much time to prepare for retirement, they have seen two fairly precipitous market declines in the last 15 years or so. And with that decline, they've watched their parents go through a lot of concern with the market. So that's where a lot of that stress is coming from. And as you mentioned, 73% of those current retirees who you spoke to say they have enough money for retirement. What about the rest of them? Because that last quarter, that's a lot of people out there. It is, it is. And again, a lot of that boils down to the Gen Xers and the Millennials about having that plan and understanding what they're most comfortable doing in savings towards retirement. Many of those, many of those younger investors are starting to become much more comfortable with savings online and investing online. But when they need help, when they want it, they can reach out to a financial advisor for assistance to help them. And they want to talk to loved ones as well, because according to your survey, 43% of millennials expect to get some kind of assistance from loved ones when they get to retirement. That doesn't seem like a smart plan. Yeah, it's, it's a very interesting fact that, you know, I'm glad you picked up on that one. Um, what we find out is the younger generation today, since they're so enamored with the uh, social media, they're almost looking at it as uh, they think it's um, other people will be there to assist them, whether it's their friends or their family or their children, that they'll be there for them in their retirement, where that's certainly not the safest way to go about doing it. You need to have a plan. You need to really be on top of your finances. And they're also watching their peers. 43% of millennials say that they're behind their peers. So it seems as though the, the group as a whole is really looking around and, and then looking inwardly as well. Yeah, very similar. A lot of that is that social aspect. They're very interested in seeing what their friends are doing, how they're doing it. And with so many tools being available, they're really starting to dive in, util utilize those tools today to make sure they are prepared for their retirement. And then finally, another good note is that people in general are prioritizing saving more than living comfortably now. So what do you take away from that over at Merrill Edge? Uh, in last year's report, we found out that people were really much more interested in living in the moment of today and having enough money to pay for what they needed for, uh, whether it would be for rent or mortgage or something like that. And we think now that we've been in the last four or five years of a market incline, that people are really starting to think more about their retirement. They're certainly, of course, they're paying things uh, for their day to day, whether it be for, of course, for food or for their home. But they're starting to recognize that retirement is here, it's going, you know, it, it's, it's happening in the not too distant future and I need to get savings. And I think with what we've seen over the market over those last four or five years, they're much more comfortable in savings towards retirement. All right. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching the street.